Now we've got a vulture sitting on the nest. And excuse me a second. A uh, negative, negative, not yet. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's heading in that area, uh, Mike. Um, I think Tara might go and try to follow up around there. Now, this vulture, these vultures have been around this nest for quite some... Oh, there is a chick. See the little head. Wow, fantastic. Did you see that little head pop up and down there? I was saying we're not sure if they've got chicks. I think this is the first time the chicks have been spotted. Hang on, let's see if we see it again. That is very exciting. We weren't sure if they had the chicks yet. But there was definitely a little head bobbing up and down out of that nest. Let's see. Oh, that's very exciting. Now, these vultures have been using the nest for quite some time. We weren't sure if they had eggs or laid eggs yet. But they clearly have, and the eggs have hatched. There we go. You see that? <laughs> Wonderful. Vulture chicks, everyone. Oh, that is very special. These are white-backed vultures. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'm not sure how many there are. Not sure how many there are, but... See, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see another one the way that um, that vulture is sitting. Deborah Armchair Traveller. Wow, well, that's a tongue twister. You, you say you're happy to see these little vulture chicks. Isn't that cute? That is very exciting. Now this nest is uh, is just off Philemon's cut line, and uh, I think I'm sure Tyra will try to come and have a look and see it at some point too. I want to see if I can find anything regarding how many eggs they lay or how many survive, because sometimes with birds of prey they may may lay two or three eggs and only one or two survive. So let's have a look. Just see, you know, Brianna, you asked, why do vultures have feathers on their heads? Well, Brianna, all birds have feathers on their heads. Oh, why don't they? Oh, sorry, Brianna, you asked, why don't they have feathers on their heads? They do have a little bit. If you look at some of the vultures, they do have some, but often around the neck and part of the head is, is quite bare. But you need to remember also the vultures use those long necks to stick into, um, into carcasses. Um, so that I think it's probably the reason the main reason is because those heads go in and out of carcasses a lot but they do have some feathers on on the neck and part of the head but the faces are a bit bare and open I would assume it's got something to do with that but I don't know for sure Brianna I don't know for sure now as I was saying that the the eggs so they lay it's usually one egg one egg that uh, that, uh, that that they that they lay and, and raise the chick sometimes two quite rarely two so that's interesting that's interesting so these adult vultures then put all the effort into raising that chick and an incubation period of about 56 days so that's interesting, for about 56 days. So now Kessel Fox, I'm not sure if they, I think the breeding is year round, if I'm not mistaken. Let's double check and um, see if I can find something. Um, okay, so they they lay, apparently they'll lay eggs, these white back vultures will lay eggs maybe around um, April, May, June, July, they can lay eggs. So yeah, going into winter, so these, I mean, these vultures have been sitting here for quite some time. They've used this nest for a long time, actually. So that makes sense then, and especially if the incubation period is about 56 days. It's almost two months. Uh, 
And David, you say the nest looks exposed and must get cold at night. Well, oh, most of these birds of prey, the larger birds of prey, they need these exposed nests. And the reason for that is it's not easy for them to land in trees that are thick and covered in foliage. The big wingspan will hinder them. So then that, that's actually a perfect spot for the vultures. There's that little head again. Isn't that wonderful? But I, I don't think it's that cold. And these birds obviously have thick, uh, thick feathers to keep them warm. And that vulture will most likely keep that chick warm too. Well, that is a wonderful surprise. I'm glad we decided to stop here to have a look. Now, I'm listening to the radio and I heard there were some guests that arrived in um, recently into this area, but this afternoon sometime, not too long ago. And apparently on their way in, they bumped into a leopard on the